Hi, I'm Callie and I'm a student at West Virginia University. I'm going to share some info about academic integrity. We take this topic pretty seriously because WVU has a set of values. Service, curiosity, respect, accountability, and appreciation that unite us. These values are at the heart of what it means to be a mountaineer. So if students don't respect themselves enough to do their own work, the entire mountaineer family is affected. If someone cheats, they're cheating themselves out of learning. At WVU, we are inspired by great ideas. We don't steal them. Basically, if you didn't do the work, don't claim it for your own. Being a scholar is about building on the efforts of others. It's about giving credit and putting in the effort. We know that the shifting to learning online over the past year has changed the way schools have had to teach and students to learn. But what hasn't changed is that Mountaineers do their own work. Let's be clear about the details. Academic dishonesty means plagiarism, cheating, fabrication or falsification, other prohibited academic conduct, and helping someone else commit academic dishonesty. It's probably obvious that copying someone else's work or looking at another student's answers during a test is cheating. But do you realize that working together in a group to come up with answers when you're supposed to be working on your own is unauthorized collaboration? Or that resubmitting your own work in several classes is self-plagiarism? Buying an essay from a friend or online is obviously wrong, but copying a few sentences from a website into your essay might not seem like a big deal. Using a phone, smartwatch, tablet, laptop, website, notes, or anything else your instructor hasn't explicitly and specifically given you permission to use to complete work is cheating. So is being given or buying old notes or tests. And the internet is a wonderful resource, but any site that offers custom classwork that you pay for is considered contract cheating, which is a very serious violation. Always check over the class syllabus for your instructor's exact policies and ask them if you have any questions. Ignorance of these policies is not an excuse or an explanation. There are real consequences to academic dishonesty, including failing a course, academic probation, suspension, and even dismissal from WVU. To see all of WVU's academic integrity policies and procedures, go to academicintegrity.wvu.edu. The site includes two tutorials that explain what plagiarism and academic integrity are. Quizzes and scenarios will make sure that you don't plagiarize or cheat by accident and that you understand what might happen if you do on purpose. It's also a good idea to check out the full WVU Code of Conduct, which you can find at the website displayed on the screen. Your Mountaineer family is here to help you, no matter what you need. There are many resources that provide academic help. Free tutoring is offered in groups or individually. The Eberly Writing Studio helps you find your inner author. There are centers for help with math, statistics, chemistry, engineering, and more. And if tests make you nervous, check out the test well, which helps reduce anxiety. You're here to learn, to follow your passions, and to find your path to a great future. Don't risk that with academic dishonesty.